The Kagura community in Southern Kaduna have come together to celebrate a fun national festival 2024 to promote cultural diversity, foster lasting peace, mutual understanding, religious tolerance and harmonious relationship by uniting the people with a strong sense of unity in Kagoro chiefdom and entire Kaduna state. For over four decades, every year in Kagoroland, people from different walks of life and diaspora converge to celebrate their rich cultural heritage, traditional attire, cultural dance, display, and cuisine. In recent years, Southern Kaduna people have become victims of ethnic and religious attacks that holds the annual celebration. The country director of Global Peace Foundation, Nigeria, Reverend Dr. Joseph Hayab, says the absence of peace destroys every sphere of human lives, stressing the need to give peace a chance to thrive in Kaduna State and Nigeria. We are having this massive crowd meeting here to celebrate their festival. It shows you the importance of peace. It shows you why people should make every sacrifice to have peace because Peace, the absence of peace destroy everything that human beings will love to have. The people are out there in their different attire, in their different cultural display, dancing, celebrating, rejoicing, what they've not done in the past three or four years. So to us at Global Peace, we find this quite important and it is a commitment or it is a challenge that we have to do more to encourage active of people working for peace in every community in Southern Kaduna, in Kaduna State and in every part of Nigeria. I'm calling on Nigerians to give peace a chance. The killings is not good enough. The whole thing we are doing is not good. Why must we continue to allow fellow citizens being killed, homes being destroyed? So as civil society, we will do our best to promote peace. But we are appealing to government to also do more in ensuring that the people are secured. We should seek a fundamental way that our societies should address the causes and the drivers of conflict that we are facing, escalation of conflict, and how we find a way that we continuously prevent and stop conflict that will lead to destruction in our society. This peace we are looking for is a shared responsibility between the government and the community. The community cannot do it alone. They need the support of government. All what we need to have is an integrated fashion mainstreaming on how we can survive and how we can protect. And also Global Peace Foundation Nigeria empowers both Christian and Muslim women in the communities with cash for self-reliance. Lamenting that poverty and joblessness promote violence and crimes in society. A general to eschew violence and religious differences and promote coexistence and harmonious relationships in southern Kaduna. Nigeria today we have over 87 million people who are wallowing in abject poverty. If we are able to eradicate or even alleviate poverty, many crimes that have been committed today in Nigeria will be drastically reduced. So we shall visit as many as we can. You understand we are doing it according to effort, and we know the Almighty God will intervene so that we can reach out to many communities, not only in Kaduna State, not only in Northern Nigeria, but in Nigeria as a whole. Once poverty is alleviated or even eradicated, Crime Commission will drastically reduce in this country. Kagoro people are peaceful people, but violence has been visited on the people of Kagoro, and they've maintained their kando by sustaining the peace and ensuring that they don't retaliate or react to what has been visited on them. So my charge is that all communities in Southern Kaduna should continue to maintain peace in their communities and ensure that even if they are provoked, there are measures that they can take to report whatever it is that is visited on them. And we're also charging the security agencies to ensure that there is fairness, there's justice and equity. We're not asking for anything extra, just that we should be allowed to breathe and live. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.